Hey fans and subscribers, this is your host Joe on the Gaming for Insight channel. And in this video, I am going to be directing you through a BIOS update on an a &EO device. And the BIOS update that I am specifically looking at today is able to increase the clock speed of the memory. Right now, looking at my a &EO device, the speed of the memory is 6400 megahertz. The BIOS update I'm going to be installing will allow the device to go beyond its compatibility mode for the memory to reach 7500 megahertz instead. And I am viewing this information in Task Manager within Performance and Memory. So the first step to get us started with this BIOS update, we're going to minimize Task Manager, we are going to go to our browser and we are going to view aneo.com forward slash support forward slash download. And we are going to be looking at these particular files here, but we're just going to pick one because we are going to pick the one that is compatible with the device that we are using. Now in this video, I am working on the ANEO 2S. So I will find the corresponding update amongst these that is specific to the ANEO 2S. However, if you are working, say, on the ANEO Air 1S, you will need to select this file instead. The specific files we are looking at are the BIOS updates, AMD 7840U supports up to 7500 megahertz BIOS. So I'm going to go ahead and download this, and I've already downloaded it, but upon selecting this, you can go into downloads and you will see this compressed file. You will need to extract this file, and you just right click and you will select extract all. So we'll just go ahead and do that for the purpose of this video. And once that is extracted, I just extracted it in the same place. You will have the file emerge here and it is no longer compressed. So we're going to open the file and we are going to see these files here. So what you will need to do is keep this open because we're going to transition to our next step, which is to format a external media device, a USB stick. And I'm going to right click on the media that I want to use. I've gone ahead and gone through these steps, but for the purposes of this video, I'm going to direct you through them. So right now I will right click on the device and I am going to go to the format option here and make sure if you have any sensitive files or files that you want to keep, make sure to remove them off of this. And what I mean by that is to move them to another location because in formatting this drive, we are going to be erasing all of the data on it. So here we need to make sure that the file system is the FAT32 default. Now, even though XFAT is an enhanced version of FAT32, it is not going to work for our purposes in this video for the BIOS update. So if you only see the NTFS and XFAT options available and not the FAT32, then you will need to go with a different media type, a different USB stick drive. If you are using an external hard drive, then that may be the reason you are not seeing FAT32. You need to make sure that FAT32 is selected. And that is the only setting up here that we are going to look at. I did not do a quick format. I do not have any data that says that a quick format will interfere with the BIOS update, but just for your FYI, I had this non-selected and then I selected start. Now, because I have already done this, I'm not going to select start and just select close. So you will need to open that up. Now, if you remember, we extracted files and I'm just going to put this to the other screen and then I'm going to go back to the folder that we have open with the files. And what we are going to do is we are going to copy these files and we are going to paste them onto our external media. It is important to note that upon opening the file, you are going to, so if we go back to downloads here, and this is our non-compressed file. So if you open that, you're going to see another folder. And then you open that and you will see these files here. 
this specifically is what you need to copy and paste into the external media. So simply going back and right clicking on the file and copying, this is not going to work as it may interfere with the BIOS update. And that is why. So just make sure, and you can test this here, we can go back to PC, we can go back to our U-Disk, and we then can see these files here. Now another consideration you may want to make in formatting the file is to name it U-Disk. Now I do not have enough information to say that it has to be done for you to name it as this, but I have just gone ahead and done that. So you may want to do that as well. And with that, we then can start with the BIOS update. So what I'm going to do is transition to the next part of the video and change the perspective so you can see the actual ANEO 2S device as the BIOS update is commencing. All right, I have in front of me my ANEO 2S device and it is fully powered down. I have it plugged in to power and I am also using a USB dongle that I have my external drive connected to it. This is the external drive, the USB stick that we formatted and put the BIOS files on in the earlier part of this video. So there are some options here on how you can access the BIOS. I am going to be using a mouse and keyboard and I am specifically going to be pressing F7 upon boot. But you can actually do this by holding down the left shoulder button, the power button and volume up at the same time. So let's go ahead and boot the device. And I'm pressing F7 on my keyboard. And now I have entered the prompt. You see that the external media device is detected. So what we are going to do is we are going to select the external device media. There is instruction that you find online that you can go to enter setup through the BIOS and you can actually go to the firmware update tab in the BIOS and select the image. For the ANEO 2S, I did not see that option within the BIOS, so I am going to go ahead and select the media here, our external media. So right now what is happening is the BIOS update is commencing. And I will say during the installation that this does take some time. Our BIOS is still installing. I am leaving the device alone and just letting it continue. All right, so now we have a black screen and I am leaving the device alone at this point. Looks like we are starting to see a reboot here after the screen was black and it was black for approximately 30 seconds for my installation. Okay, it looks like we are booting into the OS. All right, looks like the device has successfully bootstrapped. Let's go ahead and take a look at our memory clock speed. And we are going to go ahead and take a look at our performance. And we have selected memory. And under memory, we see that our speed is 7,500 megahertz. So this is a change from what was shown before the 6400 megahertz, which was the compatibility mode. And that's going to be it for this video on updating the BIOS on the ANEO 2S device and can be applied to other ANEO devices. Just make sure that you select the corresponding file. I hope this video serves as helpful. Let me know in the comments, are you updating the BIOS? Are you working with the new BIOS? How are you enjoying the new speeds? And what tests are you running for those speeds? So with that, let me leave you now with the words of Commander Shepard from Mass Effect. I should go.